How y'all doing, Ride and Die supporters? I pray you all are doing well on this blessed Tuesday in autumn. Um, just wanted to come with my response about the uh, R. Kelly not getting bond again. I don't know how many times that makes it that he has been denied bond. And the reason they're giving is due to some... Um, the fact that he has enough assets that he can, he's a flight risk. That don't make any kind of sense. And other things about him being attached to terrorists, pe people that are terrorists and um, intimidating witnesses. And also just a lot of nonsense around the reason he's not granted his bond. I'm going to say this real quickly because I'm not a long-winded person when it comes to this discussion because I don't know all the facts because I'm still like a lot of you are doing. I'm still researching um, information and I'm also getting some content from some of the bloggers that I am subscribed to for the content and the information. If you look at some of the stuff that's been happening on YouTube around this R. Kelly situation. It is showing more favor towards the prosecutors. If you've seen some of the behavior and some of the so-called R. Kelly supporters that are putting a lot of stuff out there on the internet, saying things about the so-called alleged victims, Making, I try my best not to even have a conversation at all about the alleged victims. Due to the fact, I could say a lot of things, but due to the fact that R. Kelly is sitting right now in detention, being held in detention due to the charges that are being brought against him, I stay away from that conversation. I stay away from making any comment about any of his alleged victims or even doing commentary about any of his alleged victims. Now, I did come and say some things to young girl, the young lady, Azrael Clary, and I was only saying things to try to give her some sense of direction and to give her a way of, like, you know, turning away from the things she was out there doing as a young woman and trying to give her some, you know, spiritual advice and some elder advice. So I, I, I didn't really come hard at her. Like I've seen some people say some things about her, this young lady. And even if she wasn't an alleged victim of Robert Sylvester Kelly, I still wouldn't be saying some of the things that I see being said about a young woman from a man or from any woman. And, and, and it really bothers me more when I hear women saying these things because we are all women and we're the weaker link we're vulnerable when it comes over to a man i don't care how old how young he is if he get a hold of you he could get in your head and he can do some harm to you either he could take you higher or he could take you low so <clears throat> i'm just saying speaking from a woman's perspective I'm not saying this to favor in our, um, the, uh, Azarel, you know, because Azarel's a young girl. She's a young woman to me. She's, she's younger than me, so I don't have any reason that I'm going to sit in down doing two hours, three hour videos just degrading her or saying anything about her. That's not helping R. Kelly by me sitting around talking bad about his alleged victims. Now, if I get on there and say something to some of the bloggers that are anti-against R. Kelly, that's one thing. But for me to sit around and say anything about any of those young women or any of those women that accused R. Kelly of abusing them or whatever, I don't know the whole facts. I don't know all the stories. Like I said, I was not there. I don't know these women. Anything is possible. When it comes to relationships with men and women, and like I said, if a man could get in your head, he could do all kind of things to you. And he could either bring you high or he could bring you low. 
uh, and if you notice, it has happened here on even on YouTube. We saw this stuff played out. We saw how some of the women who speak against some of the male bloggers that are, you know, doing some things that are criminal on the internet, and we women that don't accept that type of behavior and have a, a voice to say something about it. Other women come on here and attack the women. It is what it is because the man is in your head or you feel this is the way you have to defend a man that maybe you're interested in. So you're you're going to be in denial or whatever <laughs> to, to, to take up for your man or the man that you might have some interest in or whatever. I don't know like I said, I don't know all the facts of what really went happened, but right now, what I do know is that the law is not playing fair with Robert Sylvester Kelly. I know that. For sure, for sure. How could he get a fair trial when all of this stuff is out there like that? So, I'm just saying to us supporters, we have to be careful about our content and what we say to the public when it comes to speaking on these alleged victims and I've been saying that from day one from the time this thing has started I started out with the other young lady that was doing all the extra stuff on the social media Geronda Pace and some people went after her and and they was trying to come for a suit against her and all that I said leave that alone just leave that alone let the law do the deal with the law okay there's no reason for us to have no certificate no training and education of being you know prosecuted attorneys or whatever we supposed to be right now we just blogging we bring in information we're supporting Robert Sylvester Kelly in this fight against his injustice but we don't have to go as far as going to do harm or going to do things to um, go after the alleged victims especially the key alleged victims such as Azrael Clary and also the other young lady, Geronda Pace. We're going to leave that alone. But anyway, I'm getting out of here because I got to get myself together, get out of here to go make my money. So you all have a blessed and wonderful day. And please take my advice.